And here I thought the John Deere 9R couldn't get any more beautiful. What's going on everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 13 mods for you for all platforms. We have six new and five updates. And for PC and Mac players, we've got one new and one update. In today's video, we're gonna go over all the new mods and review the change logs for all of the updated mods and point out any new or big features that you need to know about. So. Let's check them out. Let's start with new mods for all platforms. And we're going to start with the big turtle saddle tanks from Sid Modding. These are going to be holding liquid fertilizer and herbicide. They're going to hold 3,786 liters of it. And if you guys are on console, it's going to take up a total of five slots. These work in conjunction with the John Deere 9030 series, the 9020 series, the 8060 series, and the John Deere 9R 2021, as well as the Challenger MT900. Although I think they're still awaiting the update to that mod if you guys want to attach these on the front don't select anything at all so if we go in we go to main vehicles and we just type in the new john deere 9r that just came out this guy right here on the front see we got weight holder well what you need is no so just put nothing on the front and you will be just fine as far as this guy right here when you download it via the in-game mod hub it is also going to download the john deere 9020 and 9030 series so heads up there uh you may run into an issue if you guys are running on like 98 or 99 percent it may not download so heads up just in case you're trying to get this downloaded and it won't for some reason it's because it's going to download another mod though I highly recommend using that or the John Deere 9R, all from Sid Modding. Your next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the New Holland BR6090 Round Baler. It's going to make 4,000 liter round bales, going to require 45 horsepower, 9 miles per hour working speed, which is a little bit lower than most of the balers that we've got in game. And it's going to cost you 30 grand. If you guys are on console, it will take up a total of five slots. We do have some design on here, so let's check it out. So we have two different kinds of yellow, and then we have different blacks as well now the unfortunate part is i don't see anything changing if you guys do let me know but uh, oh i see so it's going to be on the very bottom right here in the back and we have a main color hope you like yellow because well that's all you get and we'll set up so we have standard wide tires back and forth between those only thing that's going to cost you a little bit is those wheels at 30 grand. That's about a new tip of trailer, the Herculano S1ET. This is also Herculano on consoles as well. Very cool. This holds 9,800 liters of literally whatever you want to put in here. It's going to take up a total of five slots if you guys are on consoles. Let's take a look at rim color. We have base game gray, and then we have all the base game color palette on here. I think that should be what it is anyway. I love it. Capacity, 9,800 liters, which is... In that, nice. <laughs> and then we have a 10,600, 12,400, and back down again. Usually with this size, you only get 4,000, 8,000, and 12,000 liter capacity. So you're actually getting pretty good on here. Trellborg tires, Michelin tires, and Lizard tires make their way onto this mod. Uh, at the end of the day, it resembles this a whole lot. So just... <laughs> Just heads up there. If you like this one, you'll like that one. Next up, new for all platforms, we have the Cambridge Roller, aka Rollers, if you are in game. This is going to cost you 2500 bucks. 45 horsepower is required as a 3.8 meter work with 7 miles per hour. And if you guys are on console, it's going to take up two slots. We do have some color options through here. Not a whole lot, but we have plenty for everybody. Let's just go with a light blue here. There you go. What is this going to do, DJ? This is going to fertilize your fields if you're in the first stage or right after cultivating things like that just like any other normal roller that we've got in game your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the water dispenser this is for filling your liquid tankers with water it's going to cost you 500 bucks has a daily upkeep of five dollars per day takes up two slots on consoles and it is seasons ready you've got this marker around in front so just pull your trailer in hit in here fill up and then make your way around Detail looks very, very good on this. Uh, PS or FSPT is the modder. They did a really good job. Hey, I like it. And if that's a little bit too big for you, our last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the one for you. This is Water Pipe from GB Modding, the same modder that brought you adding and park. It's going to cost you 300 bucks. 
$5 per day upkeep, two slots on consoles, and is seasons ready. So there you go. We got a little bitty baby water pipe. I dig it. We do have some updates for all platforms today. So let's go over those. The first one's going to be the Telex Phoenix series from A2 Square Studio. This is going to be version 1.2.6. Fixed an issue with the rigid setups and the fender selections. All good there. And fix a missing configuration with the racks. How's about an update to the Lizard Thunder? This is going to be 1.2. We got some optional wheels on here now. So we have a single wheel trailer board, double wheel on there, and then the standard trailer board look that we're used to singles and doubles there. Really digging this look. The only thing a little odd when you click on it, it it's around backwards. So <laughs> let me flip that 180 degrees. You're good to go. A very popular mod, the Case IH Traction King series from Farm Citrus Soul. We got an update today, version 1.1. Film configuration options have been added. Those are gonna be no smoked, light black, dark black, and back to no. And we've also got new wheel options. In those, we have Trailer Borg and Midas tires, as well as Lizard and Michelin tires. A Trailer Borg, we have standard, twin wheels, wide tires, twin wides back to standards in midas we have a standard wheel and a wide tire and then we have the older wheels back and forth between those lizards standards Ooh, hey we have lsw's on there wish those were a little bigger that's okay and then michelin tires we got chonkers you next to last update for all platforms days the lizard atf 1330 this is change log 1.1 added to cover you could put that on and off if you wish they've also fixed the draw bar it got longer and your last update for all platforms today is the concrete brick fence pack version 1.2 improved the textures on the concrete fixed bugs related to the textures from before and added compatibility with the seasons mod these are some of the most beautiful absolutely stunning fences that we've got on uh, farm sim for all platforms hey check them out i love these making our way into pc and mac mods today we have one new and one update starting with the new one vegetable greenhouses pack from zodal's Zocked. This right here brings eight different vegetable greenhouses into the game. Different greenhouses will produce broccoli, which is in front of you right here. Cucumber, kohlrabi, pepper. You know what? Let's just take a look at them. Here you go. Uh, peppers, pumpkins, radish, spinach, tomatoes. So you got all of these right here. Lots of input, but only one output. It looks like uh, this is only usable in conjunction with the global company mod, which you guys know I've been using as of late. Recommended mods, you got the Agri-Z land trade, small sawmill pallet production, stationary wood chipper, plywood production, wood crate production, high bay warehouse. You've also got the multi-composter, fertilizer production, pesticide production, and the seed production. So uh, I hope you are well adjusted to the Zodal Zoct universe. <laughs> because you got another one there you go if you guys are on pc composty's got an update today version 1.3 pallet unloading has been added however you will need global company for that to work real quick i wanted to let you guys know i just got done talking to gb modding the creator of adding in park and adding in park did release the update today on consoles but not on pc that has been since removed because GB Modding wants both of them to be released at the same time. However, if you guys are on console and you got the update to adding in park this morning, it is safe to use and you guys are good to go. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's new mod video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, can subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We got a fun weekend for you guys. I'm so excited. On Saturday, we're gonna be live streaming with Prestige Worldwide, Clutch Simulations, A2 Studio, and a couple special guests as well. And then we're going to be maybe streaming Saturday night with A2 Studio as he officially reveals the TLX 3500. If you guys are excited about that, you don't want to miss it. All be said, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace!